Hi learners! How are you? I am Sir Noy and welcome back to this channel. In this video, you will learn how to find the area of irregular figures made up of squares and rectangles using square centimeters and square meters. First, let's have a review. To find the area of a square, we use the formula A equals S times S. For the rectangle, we use the formula A equals L times W. Let's have this problem. Neo and his younger sister Narlene made a flower garden. They planted it with roses of different colors. Find the area of their garden. What can you say about the shape of their garden? How will you find its area? In how many ways can you find its area? Let's take a look at the shape of their garden. How can you break it up into rectangles and or squares? Let's find the area of the irregular figure following these steps. Solution A. Using a horizontal cut. Draw a horizontal line to form a rectangle and a square. The illustration below shows how it is done. Two figures are formed, square X and rectangle Y. Then, find the areas of the square and the rectangle. Let's first solve for the area of the square. The given number is 4 meters. So area equals S times S equals 4 meters times 4 meters gives you 16 square meters. Let's now solve the area of the rectangle. The numbers given are 12 meters and 3 meters. So area equals L times W equals 12 meters times 3 meters gives you 36 square meters. Now, to get the area of the irregular figure, add the areas of the square and the rectangle. Therefore, the total area of their garden is 52 square meters. You can also try solve for the area by using this solution. First, let's cut up the figure into three rectangles using vertical lines. We have rectangle X, rectangle Y, and rectangle Z. Next, find the lengths and widths of the rectangles and solve for the area of each. Area of rectangle X. So 4 times 3 is 12 square meters. The area of a rectangle Y, 7 times 4 is 28 square meters. And the area of a rectangle Z, 4 times 3 is 12 square meters. Then, let's add all the three rectangles to get the area of the irregular figure. It gives you 52 square meters. No matter what type of solution you may use, the answer will be the same. Let's try other examples. For the irregular figure, how do you cut up the figure into rectangles and or squares? Let's cut it up using vertical lines. Two rectangles are formed, rectangle X and rectangle Y. Area of rectangle X, 2 times 4 is 8 square meters. For the area of rectangle Y, 5 times 3 is 15 square meters. Let's add these areas. 8 plus 15 gives you 23 square meters. How about this figure? How can you break it up into rectangles and or squares? The rectangle form is labeled X and the two squares formed are labeled Y and Z. Let's solve for the area of square Y. 2 times 2 is 4 square centimeters. Area of square Z is also 4 square centimeters. For the area of rectangle X, 12 square centimeters. How did you get 2 centimeters? We subtracted 2 centimeters from 4 centimeters, which is the original length. So the area of the irregular figure, 12 square centimeters plus 4 square centimeters plus 4 square centimeters gives you 20 square centimeters. Let's have some practice. Find the area of each irregular figure.
Let's now answer. Number 1. The area is 54 square centimeters. Number 2. The area is 84 square meters. Good job, kids! Let's have another problem. Mr. Delgado is going to plant frog grass in their front yard. What is the area of the front yard that will be planted with frog grass? And the area of the front yard is 60 square meters. Remember, to find the area of an irregular figure that is made up of squares and rectangles, first, break or cut the figure into squares and or rectangles. Next, find the area of each square and or rectangle. Then, add the areas of the squares and or rectangles. It's time to test yourself. Find the area of each irregular figure. Let's now check your work. The area for figure number 1 is Number 2. The area is Number 3. Number 4. Number 5. Number 6. Number 7. Number 8. Number 9. And number 10. Thank you for watching and listening to this video. I hope that this video helped you in your mojo. Till next time, bye!